Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Daring Greatly, a creation by Brene Brown. Daring Greatly delves into the importance of embracing vulnerability and imperfection to foster genuine connections and meaningful engagement. By uncovering the roots of shame and offering guidance on embracing vulnerability, the author aims to enhance both our personal and professional lives. The ultimate goal is to spark a profound shift in our shame-driven society, urging the adoption of a new culture that embraces vulnerability. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Brene Brown, PhD, is a highly esteemed research professor at the University of Houston Graduate College of Social Work. For over a decade, she has dedicated her research to studying shame and vulnerability. Her previous works, including I, Thought It Was Just Me, 2007, and The Gift of Imperfection, 2010, are also focused on this subject. With 9K, Ideas, to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this phrase is often used to express the desire to know the personal benefits or advantages of a particular situation or decision. It reflects the self-interest and motivation of an individual. This book explores the harmful effects of shame and its prevalence in our culture. It highlights vulnerability, as the cure for shame and explains how embracing vulnerability can lead to happiness and resilience. It also suggests that promoting a culture of vulnerability can result in increased creativity, engagement and healthier relationships. Key idea number one, shame is a human emotion rooted in the fear of social disconnection, but it can be harmful. Shame is triggered by our perception of what others think of us but it is rooted in our basic human need for connection, love, and belonging. Social disconnection causes real pain because we are wired to seek the company of others. Shame arises from the belief that we are not worthy of love and belonging, making us fear criticism and rejection. Shame hinders our ability to try new things and disconnects us from others. It weakens our belief in self-improvement and only leads to negative behavior. The widespread adoption of shame-related behavior in society is concerning. Key idea number two. Shame is prevalent in our culture and contributes to feelings of inadequacy and fear of not being good enough. In a society driven by social media and the constant need for validation, we often find ourselves trapped in a never-enough mindset. This is fueled by comparisons, envy and fear of not being worthy. Traumatic events have amplified this culture of scarcity and fear, leading us to believe that accumulating things or improving ourselves will protect us from life's uncertainties. This cycle of comparison, shame and disengagement is harmful and pervasive in our society. To break free from it, we must embrace vulnerability and overcome shame. Key idea number three. Vulnerability is not a weakness, but the foundation of all emotions. The perception of vulnerability as negative is ingrained in society. However, vulnerability is simply the capacity to experience emotions, both negative and positive. It includes uncertainty, risk and emotional exposure. Allowing oneself to be vulnerable shows strength and courage. Love and connection are rooted in vulnerability. Embracing vulnerability can be beneficial personally and professionally. Key idea number four. The text suggests that rather than ignoring our vulnerability, we should embrace it as a means to enhance ourselves and our relationships. Vulnerability, often seen as negative, is actually an important part of being human. Embracing vulnerability allows for personal and professional growth. It helps us connect with others by being authentic and empathetic. In terms of professional development, taking risks and being open to criticism is necessary for improvement. Ignoring or being unaware of vulnerability can actually increase it. Acknowledging vulnerability can be a positive tool, while shame is a common way of trying to hide it. To embrace vulnerability, we must first overcome shame. Key idea number five. 
When we acknowledge and talk about our shame, we develop strength and can receive empathy from others instead. Shame is a fear of self-exposure and can be difficult to share with others. However, talking about and naming our shame diminishes its power and makes us resilient to it. Self-compassion can help us endure shameful experiences and emerge more engaged and courageous. By reaching out and verbalizing our shame, we can replace it with empathy from others. This not only relieves us, but also helps us live a more connected and engaged life. Key idea number six, when we are content with ourselves and our possessions, we will feel more comfortable showing our vulnerability. The desire for self-improvement and acquiring more comes from a need to protect ourselves from harm. We try to hide our vulnerability by behaving perfectly and numbing ourselves. However, Accepting that we are enough and embracing our vulnerability allows us to remove the masks and be our true selves. This can benefit us in various aspects of life, such as work, school, and home. Key idea number seven. Toxic workplaces or schools are characterized by an atmosphere of shame. The text highlights the negative effects of using shame and blame as motivational strategies in schools and workplaces. It states that shame can lead to disengagement and a lack of creativity, innovation, and learning. It suggests that companies and schools should explore alternative motivational strategies, such as encouraging vulnerability. Key idea number eight, encouraging vulnerability over shame can help combat disengagement in education, work, and society. Changing societal patterns requires individuals in influential positions, such as employers, managers, teachers and parents to introduce a culture of vulnerability. Shame culture is prevalent in workplaces and schools with public displays of failure and humiliation. However, these patterns can be transformed by encouraging acceptance of vulnerability. Leaders have the power to combat shame and rehumanize education and work. By expressing their own problems and seeking help, they can create a trusting environment that values vulnerability and improves the overall atmosphere. Embracing vulnerability can transform workplaces, families, and schools. Key idea number nine, engaged and involved. Parenting creates a shame-free environment for children, which helps them develop a sense of their worthiness. To help our children lead engaged and connected lives, we need to teach them the principles of worthiness and vulnerability. Children experience shame as trauma, which can have long-lasting effects. To foster worthiness and belonging, we must create a shame-free home environment where children feel loved unconditionally. Parents need to be role models and demonstrate their own worthiness to teach their children these values. These principles of good parenting can have positive impacts on our relationships and overall happiness. In conclusion, the text discusses the importance of living a shame-free life by embracing vulnerability and unconditional self-love. It highlights that shame is a fear of social disconnection and promotes a sense of unworthiness. Vulnerability, on the other hand, is not a weakness, but the core of all emotions. By understanding and verbalizing shame, we can build resilience and experience empathy from others. A culture of vulnerability benefits work, education, and families by promoting deeper relationships and combating disengagement. Leaders in various fields should encourage vulnerability over shame, and parents should create a shame-free environment to help children develop a sense of worthiness. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.